Hey, and thanks for tuning in. A brief summary of what we've been up to in the backyard. When we bought the house, it was in pretty sorry shape and was begging for a big patio or deck to ground the space. The master plan was to build a multi-level deck with areas for living and dining with an entry deck by the back doors and a patio that linked up to that on the side going out to the carport or driveway. Dealing with council was a total nightmare, so we opted for building a steel pergola and let the pros handle all the permits. We also decided to go with a patio instead of a deck, recycling all the bricks. First we needed to run the stormwater drains from the pergola to the street, as well as a conduit for power to the shed, soon to be my workshop. With that done, we could focus on prepping for the patio, which meant dealing with all these bricks, including ones in the front yard. The old brick circle had to go. We also moved the driveway to the other side of the house so we'd have more space for a carport. This was done just in time for Christmas. Then we used some Corten steel to create some large garden beds, ripping up the bricks from the old circle and reusing them for a new front path. That left a lot of bricks left over, not to mention the ones already in the backyard. We took a bunch of those and laid a nice little windy path from the front door down to the street. A small enough project we were happy to take it on ourselves. Upon booking in for a patio company to come lay the bricks, as this was not something we wanted to do ourselves with a huge amount of space and getting the levels just right, we opted to clean and sort the bricks ourselves to save some money. And I know what you might be thinking, oh for fuck's sake, like is this whole video going to be about cleaning bricks? Well, you know what, you've gotten three minutes in, and if you hold on a bit longer, you're in for a real treat. I promise. This involved taking all the bricks from the hot sun from the front of the yard to the back where there is some shade. Many just needed to spray down with a pressure washer, but others needed the old mortar to be scraped by hand. So we got into a good rhythm of moving them, picking them up from the ground, stacking them, cleaning them, spraying them and sorting them by size. Our rough estimate for the number of bricks we had was around 2,800.
And if you bought these bricks outright from a supplier, they'd probably charge you around a buck, a buck fifty per brick. It kind of reminded me of this song, only swapping out miles for bricks, and, well, I couldn't resist. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's waking up next to you. When I go out, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes on out you. you. When I pick up... Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's picking them for you. When I clean them, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's cleaning them for you. Well, I would clean 500 bricks, and I would clean 500 more. Just to be the man who cleans the little bricks, to use them on your patio. Up. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's tying up for you. Well, I would clean 500 bricks, and I would leave 500 more. Just gonna be the man who clean those bricks, to use them on your patio. da 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 I'm working. Well, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who's working hard for you. Clean the bricks for you. Well, if you're still watching, then you may as well go ahead and subscribe because you are not going to find another home improver interior designer who breaks out in the song or choreographs music covers as part of their videos. And if you can, I doubt they're as good looking as I am. Or at the very least, just give me a like or a comment. Any action really helps with the algorithm work in my favor so I can invade other living rooms and perhaps bedrooms around the world with my off-key masterpieces. I appreciate it.